Hey everyone, this is Gus with Achievement Hunter, I mean Trophy Hunter, and I'm doing my last Uncharted 2 video, Treasures 81 through 100. I'm kind of sad, are you sad? Because I feel like we've been on a journey together. Okay, Treasure 81, as soon as you start uh, this mission after you see Schaefer uh, and go through that cutscene, you're going to exit and come out this door, and you're supposed to go to that hole in the wall on the right, but there's treasure over here, you see it off there in the distance, so just swing on the rope, grab that treasure with your foot, it's a vase, right? It's a Tibetan ritual vase, used in all kinds of Tibetan rituals. I don't know what they were. Okay, this one's a little weird. The treasure's actually above my head right now. I was playing the game, I was trying to clear this courtyard out so I could show you very easily where the treasure was, but the guys that are shooting me actually shot the treasure and knocked it down. See there, now it's at my feet. So, if you look up, that's where it's supposed to be, right there. But I just didn't shoot it down. Anyway, it's a bronze oil lamp. You're a smart kid, you'll figure it out. I know, you'll know where it is. How the fuck is that a lamp? All right, anyway, next treasure. Uh, after you beat, clear out that courtyard, you're supposed to climb up and go through a window, and this is the platform you end up at. You see the treasures on the ceiling right there, just shoot it. It comes down to this pile of shit in the middle of the room. Pick it up, what is it? Ancient sword guard. What does it look like, I wonder? Let's find out. It looks like a circle. No, okay, well, what is that? It's like a scary face. I guess that works for sword guards. I don't know, I've never used a sword. Okay, next one. Uh, this is like a little mini cutscene where there's like dudes in the courtyard, the soldiers running away, they're all scared. Uh, you have to stop there for a second. Then when you continue, just drop down over here. Treasure right up there. Like, who are these people that built this city or like lived here and never saw this treasure just like lying around everywhere? Okay, Tibetan coral earring. I didn't realize there was coral in Tibet. I thought it was a landlocked country. Uh, this next one, okay, this is the courtyard out here with the tree. You're supposed to go up those stairs to continue, but if you double back and jump over here, you will see some treasure. Let's find out what it is. It's a conch of some kind. It's a Tibetan conch horn. I bet you can blow into that and make noise or something. Okay, this next treasure, you're supposed to climb up on this furniture. And you're supposed to go up there to the right to continue the level. But instead of doing that, if you head on over to the left, you'll get some treasure. And what the hell happened to the city? It looks like shit. There must not be a Home Depot nearby. People can't fix their houses. Okay, there was treasure, right there. Pick it up, you idiot. Alright, what is that? It looks like a cassette? Is that a cassette? No, it's a Tibetan square gao. Looks like you put cigarettes in it. Maybe it's a cigarette holder. Um, this next treasure... Oh yeah, you write the zip line down, then after you get off the zip line, you're in this little room, just shoot the treasure down. You gotta jump over, there's like a little gap in the stairs here, jump over that. And pick up that treasure. Ooh, what is that? A carved bone ornament, that's creepy. I wonder if it's human bone. Probably not. Okay, right there, it's on the entrance, what Nathan thinks is the entrance to Shambhala. You look to your left, there's a statue. Shoot the treasure off the top of the statue. I was just gonna go pick it up, but I didn't realize I hadn't killed everyone yet. This is a video of me fucking up. So I did a good job on the other videos, but as soon as this one starts, everything goes to hell. So I sped up the video because you don't want to watch me killing dudes. It's a fun game, but no, that's not the point of this video. Okay, so finally, once you clear everyone out, you shoot that treasure down, you climb up the back of the statue. And once again, this is me fucking up, because I didn't know how to get over to the other side of the statue. Well, I knew how to get over, I just couldn't fucking do it. You see, I'm jumping over, walking up. This is really embarrassing, I should have sped this up too. Oh well. Eventually, if you're not an idiot like me, you'll get over to the other side of the statue. Yay! But see, I'm an idiot, and I immediately went back to the wrong side of the statue. Right here. Good job, Gus. Didn't even pick up the treasure. Now I gotta figure out how to go back to the right side again. There we go, now get the treasure, you idiot. Any day now, people are waiting. What is that? Tibetan hair ornament, looks like a boob. It's got a green nipple there. Must be really cold. Okay, now this treasure... You're gonna drop down here into this little courtyard and you're supposed to fight some dudes. You'll see them run down the stairs over there on the left. Uh, let them wait, let them live a little longer. Come over here and pick up that treasure. It's beads of some kind, is that a bracelet? No, uh, yeah, Tibetan mala beads. I have no idea what the Tibetans use that for. Okay, this next one's right at the beginning of chapter 24, the road to Shambhala. Uh, it's in the first room, just look up, there's treasure right over there. Neither do I. Not very well hidden. Treasure in plain sight, that must have been the Tibetan philosophy. Uh, what is that? It's a brooch? No, it's a bronze Garuda. Garuda, I wonder what that is. Looks like a demon dude. Okay, this next treasure, it's when you're with Flynn in the room with the rotating bridges that you need to straighten out. You're supposed to jump over here, but if you look to your left, there's treasure right there. Ooh, it's a toad sensor. Looks like an ashtray. Does that toad only have one leg on the back? Okay, anyway. Uh, you're supposed to climb up these stairs, go to the right to continue the level, but instead of that, just cut across to the other side. 
There's treasure laying right there. Pick it up. Ooh, what could it be? Is that like Pisces? Eight emblems pendant. Looks like a Pisces thing, like a zodiac sign thing. I don't see eight emblems on that. Okay, next one. It's after you fight those weird guardian dudes for the first time down here. Uh, just jump up. This is the way you need to go to finish the level, or to continue with the level. And if you just look up, there's treasure right above you. Shoot it down. Oh shit, I guess I didn't kill all of those guys. They're throwing shit at me. Alright, what is that? Like a dagger of some kind. It's a Furba Thogchag. These are words I've never said in my life before this video. Furba Thogchag. Well, I said Thogchag before. Okay, next treasure is just on the way. As you're blowing up sap to clear the way, clear the path for yourself, you'll see treasure right up there on the ceiling. Shoot it, pick it up. What did I get? It's a mask or a head. Clay Yamantaka, Yamantaka head. Scary. Okay, this next one, when you get to the area where you can see the big bridge off in the distance, just drop down, head over to your right. Should be some treasure over there. Pick it up. Ooh, is that like, what is that, like a sword hilt? No, it's a gold leaf statue head. Hmm, I guess. All right, this next one took me a little while to figure out. Uh, it's when you're obviously when you're in the area that's raining. Uh, about halfway through the water area, you can climb that little area I did and jump up here. And the treasure's right over there on that side near the roof. I thought the treasure wasn't there, or maybe I'd done something wrong. So you see me st stall for a bit, then I move and I realize, oh, those vines are just blocking my view. So just step over, shoot the treasure down, go and grab it. Booyah, what is that? That's a fibula thog chag. Ew, is that like made out of a fibula? Gross. Okay, this next treasure, it's after you push the cart to help you proceed, you're supposed to go head to the left up those stairs. Instead, just jump over here, double back like the area you came from, and there's treasure waiting right there on top of that tree. It's an unusual bronze mask. Unusual is definitely an understatement in this case. This the dude's got bugging out eyes. Okay, uh, and this is in the room where you fight all the guardians and the soldiers at the same time. There's like this little altar thing in the middle. Just shoot the treasure off. One of those scary multi-armed people. And pick it up. Treasure takes a little while to load sometimes. Gonna pick up some ammo. I gotta play this game after all. Can't survive with just a crossbow. Uh, it's a Manny Jewel Thog Chag. Don't know what that is. Anyway, crossbow is actually a good weapon. Okay, then you continue out of that previous room. This is where you end up. You're supposed to go up these stairs. And right away there's treasure. Shoot it, knock it down. And go pick it up. Yeah, wooden Vajrapani mask. That's a mouthful. And that's my 100th treasure. Uh, so I get the Master Fortune Hunter trophy for collecting 100 treasures. But of course, the strange relic counts as a treasure. That's why it thinks I have 100. There's actually one more treasure. When you get to the room, you see the tree off there in the distance. When you get to that area, stop. If you go any further, the game's going to proceed with a cutscene. Just double back, and there's a treasure right here. That just looks like the golden statue head from earlier. Now it's a bronze statue head. Huh. Alright, well that's treasure number 101. So counting the strange relic, that's all 100 treasures. Thanks for watching everyone!